in the third divorce kit, we will be discussing, firstly, the issues surrounding the prospects of settlement. When should I think about settling? How should I approach it? Why should I be thinking of settling? And then we're going to talk about the various stages of the court process when settlement discussions are appropriate. Because at certain stages, it's just not the right time to talk about settlement. You may not have enough information. The other person may not be ready. But when should I start thinking about raising the topic with the other side of settling? What happens if I offer to settle and they refuse? Can they come to court and say, but yesterday she was prepared to take this and today she's changed her mind? I'll give you a hint. The answer is that, that to that is no. You can't talk about settlement discussions when you're in a courtroom unless you're at a case conference or a settlement conference. We're going to talk about and explore alternative dispute resolution mechanisms and mechanisms and facilities that are available to you. Where, where do I go to get someone to help me to settle? Where do I go to, for mediation or arbitration? How can I get a judge to help me settle this case without having to go through a trial or go through a motion? What kind of conferences take place during the course of a family law proceeding where settlement is discussed and where I can actually reasonably expect to settle? We're going to talk about something that's a very important aspect of a family law proceeding and that's something called an offer to settle. It's a formal document offering to settle on certain terms and I'm going to talk about why you would want to make an offer to settle, what the benefit is to you of doing that. And then finally in the realm of settlement we're going to talk about minutes of settlement, which is a document that you prepare. How do I prepare this? What is it? Why do I need it? And what do I do with it? We're also going to talk about agreements. If I reach a settlement, do I do a separation agreement? What is a separation agreement? What are the different types of domestic contracts that I could enter into with the other side? what should be in them, what's required in order to make sure that they're valid and they're not set aside later, what is financial disclosure and how does it fit into a settlement, what happens if I don't make honest financial disclosure, what happens later if it's found out that I didn't tell the truth about my assets or my debts. How does somebody set aside a separation agreement or a settlement if somebody has done something deceptive or fraudulent or wrong? And finally, we're going to talk about the actual trial process from the point just before the trial when you go to a trial management conference, what that is what is a trial management conference brief, what needs to be in it, what happens at trial, what happens just before trial. We're going to talk about something called assignment court and then we're going to deal with issues of trial. If you need to go to a trial you need to have your documents in order, you need to put together document briefs, you need to know what kind of witnesses you're going to have, you need to know who your witnesses should be, how to prepare them, you need to know how to make an opening statement and what should be in it, you need to know how to make a closing statement and what should be in it, you need to know a bit about how to examine witnesses. If they're your witness, then you're examining them one way. If they're someone else's witness, then you get to do what's called cross-examine. 
And if you cross-examine somebody, the rules are completely different than when you're examining someone on what we call direct examination, who is your own witness. How do you conduct yourself at trial, and how is the trial conducted? Do I need to know any law when I go to trial? Do I need to know how to find a case that supports my own particular situation so that I can draw that case to the attention of a judge? How do I find them? What do I do with it when I do find it? How do I know if it's the right case? 